Age Defenders of Earth. The Power Rangers are driven by the power of the ancient dinosaurs. Lately, evil space aliens have become a real safety hazard. Earth's only hope, the Power Rangers. Oh yeah? No one can stop us. Just let them try. Okay. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. It's Megazord. When evil space aliens threaten Earth, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in their Dinozords morph to become the Megazord. The Megazord is part of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers ultimate battle system. Hey, I thought you were driving. Me? I thought you were. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. Even Megazord isn't powerful enough. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers summon Dragon Zord and Titanus, the motorized carrier Zord. They morph with Megazord to form the ultimate battle machine, Ultra Zord. Say, who's watching where we're going? Huh? Not me, I'm not. Uh oh. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. Okay, so when I saw this on Twitter, I really don't understand why everyone is kind of triggered by it and not liking the idea of how one of the oldest rangers passes away to have her mother or her son take on the mantle of their powers to keep the legacy alive. And for one, I see nothing wrong with it because last year or the year before when I saw the official omnopsis of the original team coming back to stop the old arch nemesis Rita and her goons to try to protect the world as they know it once again. So the plot pretty much says the same thing but it's much different. And at the same time I don't understand why everyone is freaked out over this plot it's just be all confusing it says after tragedy strikes the unlikely young hero takes a rightful place among the power rangers to get revenge on the team's oldest arch nemesis so the so this pretty much talks about Rita Repulsa in a nutshell but when you think about it it kind of makes sense as to why the plot is like this is because this is like a mini movie it's not like a tv show or or an episode so this pretty much is gonna have some very dark moments in once and always because even Catherine sutherland shout out to her confirmed that it's gonna be darker it's gonna have blood and not to mention it's aiming towards adults who grew up with the franchise as well it's not gonna be a kid's plot so now that Hasbro is the home for Netflix, right? They're pretty much just doing what they want with the franchise, doing what they want with the property. You know, they're pretty much just trying to move away from the kid involvement or the kid environment to add their own flavor to it in terms of being dark, mature, and serious, much like how Cosmic Fury is gonna end up being when it comes out in the fall. And when you think about it, Power Rangers in 2023 is something very different. Something that has never been done before on Netflix. And for the first time in 30 years, they're actually gonna end up being more violent. And I'm kind of hoping that they do. So this is something that a lot of us can look forward to because we all grew up with Mighty Morphin and which I understand. But at the same time, you need something like change you know the boom studio comics did it way better 
you know, even though I appreciate what the TV show did back in the 90s, but at the same time, we're talking like certain changes needed to be made in terms of acting wise, martial arts fight scenes being more brutal, giving blows to the face instead of just like body to body all the time. Like that has been played out since 1993 and I believe it's time for a change if you know what I'm talking about. So I'm really excited about this special. I like the plot. I think it makes sense. Clock is ticking. Time is ticking. Like things are getting really serious and things are getting really real. Now, another image I saw on Twitter is some more behind the scenes stuff before all of this is happening is Walter Jones and Catherine Sutherland in Rita's Moon Palace. But they're not really in space. This is just some green screen stuff. And you see the little stick in the middle of the thing of the small little picture of the Earth. So they're making it seem like they're really in space, but this is really a nice touch. And yeah, let me know what y'all thoughts are in the chat. Are you still excited about the special coming out on Netflix? Um, yeah, chime in the chat and I'm gonna see you.